By the end of this video, you will see how to configure Google Ads page view events that will track the user across all the pages of the website so you can see what the user is doing and whether your conversion tracking is working accurately. To begin this video, all you need to make sure that you do have proper access to WordPress. To check whether you have proper access to the WordPress account, go to the WordPress backend and then go to the users tab. Once you will go to the user tab, just check after the name of yours whether you have administrator access or not. You need admin access to access the plugin on the WordPress store. Once you have access to your WordPress website, the second thing you need to make sure is that you have access to your Google Tag Manager work container. Go to your tagmanager.google.com and then go to the admin section of the container and then click on user management option. Once you click on user management, you will be able to see whether you have permissions or not. For the container, you need publish level permissions to make changes and make them go live on the website. And for Google Ads, all you have to do is go to the admin section and access and security to make sure that your user has admin access or standard access for google ads standard access also works fine because the only thing you have to create is conversion actions and conversion labels perfect if you have all of these three things we can go to the next step of configuring google tag manager container on the wordpress backend to configure google tag manager container on the wordpress backend we do have multiple options and the easiest option is to use the plugin that will also help us generate data layer in the future the plugin we are going to use is gtm for wp to install the plugin go to the wordpress backend and then switch to the plugins tab and click on add new plugin. Once you will click on this button, this will take you to the backend of the WordPress plugin installation page. So let's just search for the plugin that we need. It's called GTM for WP. Great. This plugin is created by Thomas Greger. And once you hit on install, then click on activate the plugin. Once the plugin has been activated, the page will automatically redirect you to the plugins page. However, if it has not redirected you, you can just click on the plugin option and click on installed plugin. Great. Find the plugin that you have and click on the settings option so that we can add the Google Tag Manager container ID right here. To get the Google Tag Manager container ID, you have to switch back to your Google Tag Manager account and under the admin, you will find an option which says install Google Tag Manager. Click on the install Google Tag Manager option and here you're going to find this ID which starts with GTM and it has some number next to it. Let's copy this ID and go back to the Google Tag Manager plugin and paste the ID right here. Let's hit save. So all the changes that we have made, they would be saved on the WordPress. Great. There is one minor issue with this plugin. As soon as you make the changes, it will turn off the container code. So make sure that the container code is turned on. Let's hit save changes again. This should ideally add Google Tag Manager container on the WordPress website. But let's just check to be super sure that everything is working all right. On your Google Tag Manager container, go to workspace section. This is where all the tags, triggers, and containers are going to be. And let's hit preview. Once you hit preview on your Google Tag Manager container, this will open up a temporary debug window that we can use for testing. Temporary debug window are just like pipeline. They will show us how the events are firing on our website. So let's just connect to any of the pages pages on the website. I'm just connecting to the shop page. Great. Once the Google Tag Manager debug window has been connected to the website, there are multiple ways to verify if the Tag Manager container is firing or not. The easiest way to check if the Google Tag Manager is firing on the website is to use an extension which is Google Tag Legacy Assistant. You can see the ID of the Google Tag Manager container right here and as long as this tag is not red or yellow, everything is working fine. We can also verify this information by going back to the debug window and we can see that the debug window has been connected and this container ID has been loaded on the website. Great, so we have done the first step, which is configuring the Google Tag Manager container on the WordPress backend. Now we have to configure the page view action. So if you go to goals, then under conversion, you will find a summary section. Once you will click on summary, this will show you all the previous goals and conversions you have created for your Google Ads account. To create a new conversion action on your Google Ads account, all you have to do is click this blue button, which says new conversion action, and this will take you to a new page. There are multiple ways to create conversion actions in Google Ads. However, since we are using website and we are using Google Tag Manager, we are going to stick with the first action. Once you click on this, it is going to ask you for the URL of your website. Add the URL of our website right here and let's hit scan. You don't have to add a specific page path. I just do it because I have a happy number. Let's create a manual conversion action. Since this action is going to fire on all the pages of the website, the category I want to select is page view. For the conversion action name, you can name it anything that you want. However, I like all the things to be consistent. So I use snake case. Snake case is where everything is smaller letters and spaces are replaced by underscore. 
Great. We don't want to associate any value with it. So I'm going to select don't use value and I want to count every user with it. So let's hit done and the conversion action should be created. Let's hit save and continue to get the conversion actions ID and conversion action label for this one. Since we are using Google Tag Manager, let's switch to the Google Tag Manager tab. Let's copy this conversion ID because this is the thing that we are going to require and this is the conversion label for our conversion action. Let's copy this one. Too. Now we can move to the third step which is creating the tags inside Google Tag Manager that will fire on all page view events. So let's go back to the Google Tag Manager container and click on the new button on the top right corner. For the triggers, we want this tag to fire on all the pages of the website. So let's select all pages triggered. And for the tag, I want this tag to be Google Tag Manager conversion tag. So let's find the conversion tracking tag. You will see that it requires two things. It needs a conversion ID and it needs a conversion label. We have already copied the conversion ID and conversion label. So let's get that. Let's copy this one again. And let's paste the conversion label right here. And then we need conversion ID. Let's copy the conversion ID and paste the conversion ID right here. Great. We don't need to change anything because we don't have any other information about the user on the page view step. That's almost pretty much it we need for the conversion tag. However, I do like to create some optimization. So instead of using conversion IDs as values itself, I like to create variables for them because variables make our life a lot more easier when we are working with them. Let's rename it to G ads conversion ID and let's hit save and we can also do the same thing with conversion label let's create another constant variable the constant variable the values of constant variable does not change it that's why they are called constant variables and let's call it g adds conversion label and this conversion label is for all page view events Perfect. Now we have did the optimization and now we can save this tag. Let's save this tag as Google Ads Conversion Tracking All Page Views. You are still seeing this error where it says the conversion linker tag is missing. So let's also configure a conversion linker tab for this one. The trigger is going to be all pages and the tag is going to be conversion linker. Let's find the conversion linker tab. We don't have to make any changes unless you have custom subdomains. Let's rename it to Google Ads Conversion Linker and hit save. Now we have added the conversion tag and the next target is to add the remarketing tag. So let's click on new and then we can select all pages again. And for the tag, instead of selecting the conversion tag, which we selected previously, we are going to select Google Ads remarketing tag. Since we have created the conversion IDs and conversion labels as constant variables, we can select them. Let's select Google Ads conversion ID and for the conversion label, let's select conversion label for all pages. Great. Now we can rename this tag as Google Ads remarketing tag for all page view events. Perfect. And we can hit save. Great. Doing this, the tag should have been added on your website. But before publishing the changes, let's do a quick test to make sure if everything is working all right. Once you click on the preview button again, this will again open that debug window with the updated tags that we have added on the website. Once this web page has been loaded, do the debugging properly. I'm going to open website and the preview mode side by side so we can see all the changes in one page. So let me pop this window out and stuck it to the side. Great. So on the right side, we can see the website and on the left side, I can see all the tags that has fired on the page. So we can see that the Google Ads conversion tracking tag has fired, the Google Ads remarketing tag has fired and the conversion linker has also fired. The second option to verify this too is go to the conversion tab and we can see that one conversion tag has fired and one remarketing tag has fired. And there is also the verification can be done using the same Chrome extension window. You can see that the Google Ads conversion tracking tag has fired. It has the same conversion label and the same conversion. ID. Great. All the things that we needed for the page view events are working. So let's just go ahead and publish these changes. So they are not in the dev mode, they are in the production mode. So let's make the changes. Added all page view events for GM. Great. Now the next step is to track view item event. That is whenever a user visit any of our product pages and we want to track that inside Google Ads. We are going to do that in the next video.